Hi guys and welcome. Today is day 10 of the Junk Journal July 2024, which is hosted by Meg Journals. And we're given 31 uh, prompts for the 31 days in July to create something from that prompt. So today is day number 10 and the prompt word is thread. So pull out your scraps, whether it's lace, I've got some scraps here. Um, lace, cut out, punch outs, you know, some twine, some thread, and um, let's create a page and have some fun. All right, this page I'm going to leave relatively plain because I want some journaling space, but I'm also going to put a pocket down the bottom, which we will decorate with the thread and that. I've already cut my pocket um, using some scraps the other day I went through and cut a heap of pockets and tucks and things like that to use and I like this one because it's in a butterfly theme and I'm going to be using uh, one of my butterflies that I cut out the other day I uh, knew I'd have, have a bit of a wait at the hospital so I, I did a heap of stamping before I went my husband was having surgery um, which all went well by the way and I cut a heap out and um, you would have seen some previous videos where I used this butterfly. Absolutely love it. It just um, was a nice one to do. It comes in three different sizes and you know to ink it up like that you've, you've got an instant colour on there. I did stamp it on some other coloured um, cardstock as well. But really, really loved, loved that one. So no rhyme or reason. I'm going to ink that before I glue too much down to it. Um, so as you can see, my journal is starting to get quite thick. Uh, and we're only at day 10, which is why I put a beautiful silk ribbon closure on it. So, you know, because I already knew that it was going to become quite thick so you could have it either way you could go that way I actually want it this way and I'm going to glue that one straight down I, I sort of kept with the same shape as the pocket there um, and I'm going to use a bit of material glue and that can be drying while we work out what else we're going to do. So I like creating a lot of journaling space in my journals and having them interactive, um, which is, you know, we can put anything in a pocket, whether it's tags, notebooks, things like that so it's always good to have some pockets and tucks and fold outs and things like that through your journal and that one I always store that glue upside down so always make sure I close it I did he recently make the mistake of not closing the nozzle and storing it upside down my container was full of glue so don't make that mistake <laughs> so today's just about sort of layering now when the when the pocket goes down what's standing out to me which I don't particularly like is because we've got the coffee dyed paper up the top here is the music page down the bottom just in one corner it's taking it away from this so I've pulled out this which I stamped on it was a, a stamp stamp and also a postal lines just on a bit of um, scrap coffee dyed paper so I'm just going to have a look to see what it looks like down the bottom now I do like that because yes your eyes drawn there too but it fills up that now I could just put something plain down there too. Let me have a look. Let's, or I could put a label down there might be better because 
I might put this one up in the corner. So I quite often sit down and stamp things on my scraps. That might look good up there. Okay, we'll pop him off to the side. Let's see if we've got like a fairly plain label of some sort. Maybe that might look okay. So it's green and green and it just takes away that that rough edge there. We've still got a little bit of book page underneath which I'll put it a little bit higher so you can see the notes but it it just it looks finished if you understand what I'm saying there. I just quickly give it a little bit of an ink not too much. Glue it down first before we put our pocket down. And then we can glue our pocket down. The pockets don't have to be a certain size, they can be any size you like. Especially these corner ones, you know, you could make it that big if you wanted to. You could make it smaller. It's just so you've got a space there to tuck something in. You could you could stamp a word on there if you wanted to. I'm just going to ink this. I'm going to um, put it up the top. And I do want to distress around the page as well. I'm just going to pull journal down. It's going to distress that top. Just the corner where I've put the coffee dyed paper down just needed um, a little bit more glue. So I originally used glue stick I'm just going to stick this up the top and it'll sort of fade into the background because it's uh, on coffee dyed paper, stamped on coffee dyed paper and it's just sort of, it's not that bold. So it'll just dress the top of the page. Get back down to our cluster. So do we want to put a little bit more lace on there? Probably not that. What's this piece? Maybe some green under there. Let's have a look at some cardstock. Just Tearing. Probably something under that as well. Something probably a little bit more lighter. Now we've got a light in the background there. So that might blend in too much. I'm 
rummaging through. Don't necessarily like the straight edge, but I'm just trialing it before we maybe a different color. I've got a drawer in front of me that has a heap of punched out once again from scraps okay I'm really liking how that looks So I've even used two size punches um, and punched out, you know, rings like that for circles. That's too light for that. But to give you a bit of an idea on that, now we want to also have some thread there. So let me first of all just glue, ink and glue that down. I am going to leave the straight edge on that one. And I'm thinking with the thread, um, having it as part of the butterfly. How I'm going to do that, I don't know. And I might just break down the fibres on this a little bit. Just a grungy grunge it up a little bit so glue it down I must admit I'm having so much fun um, doing this it's the first time that I've participated in the junk journal July um, so far so good I'm handling the crafting every day um, not sure if I can sustain the 31 days, but I will definitely, definitely try. This one, because it's lighter, I'm going to ink the edge. And I'll ink this one as well. So you can see we're basically just layering and doing a cluster. Just some extra glue under there because it's got the material. Same with that one. Now our butterfly, which I absolutely love that. He will go probably up a little bit. And maybe the, the string up and down. So I'm going to going to wind it and then tie it similar to a bow I guess it's all trial and error I'm going to use this piece to tie it in the middle just a bit tighter. And that way we can fan it out And have him down 
like that. Or turn it upside down. Yep, really love that. So yes, it's, it adds bulk to our page, but we can counteract that somewhere else in the journal because we really want to have all well, the prompt is twine. So uh, we really want to have that behind our butterfly. And I'm going to use the material glue for that. Put a fair, fair dollop down and then sum up over the top. A couple of dots off to the side because we want to secure our wing down as well as our butterfly. Just, just either side of the body. So you'll get the body will give you like a, a 3D effect because the knot is under it. Didn't end up using that lace. Hold it down a little bit. Just takes a little bit longer than your, your normal art glitter. And then as you can see, we can make a journaling card that will go inside our pocket. Like that. Um, to journal on, we can put a tab up the top, which I'll do in a minute. We'll round the corners. We might as well finish it off completely. I think I've got some... I did have some journal tabs, but they're in a different colour, and I want to keep the same colour as that. So let me just make one. So folding it over, that's the brand of this, if you can see that. Vassen Creative, um, and it's a relatively new punch, which is like your old whale tail. Very easy to use. And because you fold your cardstock over, you get your label, sorry, your um, tab like that. So you don't have to glue two pieces together because some tab punches, it only cuts out a piece. Which I guess this does too if you don't fold, fold it over. This is just scrap cardstock. The um, I'll just straighten that line. It's only got a slight curve on it, but <clears throat> which is a scrap from another project. And let me round the corners. Let me ink the card. And I like rounding the corners um, because if it's going in and out of something, if it's a straight corner, they can get a little bit tatty after a while. that as much or as little as you like. And 
and then just eyeball it for the center. Pages curved, that makes it better. It's just come off just there. Put a bit more glue, glue down. So there we go, guys. You know, you could do some stamping on that. I think I do have a, a little one of these. I'll just see if it's um, too, if it's small enough. Yeah, I could probably have it like that. I'll ink it up anyway. Because <clears throat> I didn't want to put too much on there because we want to use it as journaling space. You know, we could have uh, very faintly stamped a heap of the butterflies over it or did some script as we normally would. But I actually like the idea of keeping it plain. It's nice to have some plain spots in our journal. By keeping it plain, it draws the eye down here. There we go, guys. So that's my take on today's prompt word thread. Um, so we've used some beautiful twine thread on that and, um, you know, got some extra lovely journaling space in there as well, as well as our background where we've left with plain coffee dyed paper. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next prompt, number 11, which is stamps. Thanks, guys. Bye.